Looks like theater goers will definitely find somebody to love as Queen biopic Bohemian Rhapsody is expected to rock the North American box office with a debut of $35 million to $40 million range, easily enough to beat fellow releases The Nutcracker and The Four Realms and Tyler Perry's first R-rated comedy, Nobody's Fool. I also write songs. Our uh, lead singer just quit. Then you'll need someone new. Bohemian Rhapsody's win would mark a victory for 20th Century Fox as it prepares to disappear as a standalone Hollywood studio and be absorbed by Disney, home of the live action Nutcracker. Bohemian Rhapsody cost roughly $55 million to produce before marketing, compared to a production budget of north of $120 million for Nutcracker in the Four Realms. Your gift this year would be something you'll never forget. The Christmas-themed Nutcracker, an adaptation of the iconic ballet and short story about a girl whose Nutcracker doll comes to life, is tracking to open in the low to mid $20 million range in what looks to be a rare miss for Disney. The film stars Kieran Knightley, Mackenzie Foy, Eugenio Derbez, Matthew McFadden, Morgan Freeman, and Helen Mirren along with American Ballet theater ballerina Misty Copeland making her big screen debut in the family-friendly movie. Bohemian Rhapsody, chronicling the rise of an iconic 1970s rock band, was even more of a drama queen behind the scenes. Towards the end of production, director Brian Singer was fired. The singer who retained sole directing credit was replaced by Dexter Fletcher. New Regency co-financed the film. Lucy Boynton, Gwendolyn Lee, Ben Hardy, Joseph Mazzello, Aidan Gellin, Tom Hollander, Alan Leach, and Mike Myers co-star in Bohemian Rhapsody, which launched to a huge $12.5 million in the UK last weekend to mark one of the biggest openings in the year in England, as well as one of the top showings in recent memory for a non-franchise title. Paramount's Nobody's Fool stars Tiffany Haddish as a recent parolee who tries to help her sister seek revenge on the man who bilked her. Tika Sumter, Omari Hardwick, McCad Brooks, Amber Riley, and Whoopi Goldberg co-star in the $19 million comedy, which is tracking to open in the $15 million plus range. As 2018 hits the final two-month stretch, domestic revenue year-to-date is running 11% ahead of the same period last year, prompting many to predict that the year will finish with a record $12 billion or more. Already, domestic revenue for the past year has hit $12 million, a first for any 12-month period, or as Paul DeGarabedian from Comscore puts it, this is what could be described as a unicorn of a year at the multiplex. Keep it locked to THR.com to keep up with the latest box office numbers. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Ben Myers.